Everyone, it's Christian from Human Risk, and I want to pick up a story that came out yesterday in London's Evening Standard newspaper concerning the FCA, the Financial Conduct Authority. That's the regulator that's responsible for, put simply, behaviour in financial services. And um, what turned out was that the COO of the FCA had put something on their intranet explaining to staff that there had been unacceptable behaviour within their building and organisation, and that unacceptable behaviour included things like, and I'm going to watch my words, carefully here missing the toilet leaving alcohol bottles in sanitation bins and the less serious crime of not doing their washing up now on the face of it this is not good for them if your job is to police the conduct of other people it's a bit embarrassing when your own organization hasn't got its house in order all of that said um, they have at least tried to get to grips with the issue and deal with it and pointed out to their staff that this behavior is unacceptable now full disclosure I used to work at the predecessor organization of of the FCA, something called the FSA, and I also worked as COO of the PRA, so that's the other big financial services operator. So I've got a lot of sympathy for having to manage this issue. Now, it does beg the question why you've got to manage that issue in the first place. What does that say about the organization as a whole? So some challenges I think they have to deal with there, and they are at least trying to set the right tone and deal with those issues, even if you might argue they shouldn't have had them in the first place. But one thing I do want to pick up, and it's worth noting for all of you, if you're managing this type of issue within your organization doesn't have to be this bad even a minor set of things that you want people to behave in a different way around uh, one of the tendencies we have is to send messages to people saying that a certain behavior type is unacceptable now it seems logical if people aren't doing what you want tell them what you want them to do or tell them what you don't want them to do and then they'll know and they hopefully won't do it for you issuing a warning but there is something called social proof in behavioral science which is that we copy other people and if we see other people doing something or we hear of other people doing something we're liable to copy it ourselves the risk in highlighting bad behavior and breaches is that it sends a message to people this is widespread lots of people are doing it you wouldn't be putting those messages out there if it wasn't something lots of people are doing and therefore subliminally you might actually encourage people to continue doing it because it's clearly so widespread that it might be uh, deemed to be a normal behavior so these things can badly backfire and there's an interesting question of course if you are a regulator you know this stuff is likely to leak out into the public domain put it on the intranet uh, you are running the risk of getting more publicity around it so I think there's a whole load of noise that the FCA is having to deal with I'm not convinced that the method of simply warning people solves the problem but I guess they are trying to do something about it and at least they have been transparent around it and they're making sure their own house is in order so an interesting topic for the conduct regulator to have to get to grips with as ever humans continue to give us some interesting thought processes if you like this video do check out human-risk.com slash video for more of these things and do subscribe to my newsletter and you can follow me on social media at human risk blog thanks for watching